Hi, this is Chanel with DTools Cloud, and today we're going to do a quick video on creating an opportunity. So make your way to the Opportunities tab. And what you're looking at here is my Kanban board. This is where you will visually manage your sales pipeline. Each column represents a stage in your sales process that you can easily customize from within the More menu. And then you'll simply drag and drop to update the opportunity stage and track the progress of the deal as it moves through your pipeline. Next, we'll select New Opportunity and enter in our new lead. Now, please keep in mind that DTools Cloud is mobile responsive, so it's super quick and easy to do from your phone. I'll enter in my opportunity name now and select my project type. Now, if you don't see the project type you're looking for, simply create a new project type. Tracking this is an important data point because it feeds into your sales report, revenue by project type. And this will help increase visibility into understanding and measuring your sales activity. Now, at this stage, we have already done enough to create a new opportunity and start quoting. However, I'm going to complete all the fields before moving on. So I'm going to enter in my client info and address. Awesome. Perfect. Now, estimated close date. We may not know the close date at this stage, but setting it to the end of the month is a good best practice. Budget. Finding this out can be tricky, but let's just say we're lucky enough to know that Axel has $20,000 to spend and it's a 5,000 square foot cabin. Now the main benefit of filling in this field is we'll show you your price and profit by square foot. Another benefit is that area can be used with calculated allowances, an item in your catalog, so very cool feature. Now lead source. Let's just say we got this lead from a referral, but please add your own lead sources because it's another data point that feeds into your sales report, revenue by lead source. So we're always trying to aggregate your day-to-day -day activity and present it back to you in a meaningful way to help you make better business decisions. Lastly, for those users that don't mind drilling down a little bit further at this stage, we'll check out our advanced fields. So tax, this is where you can review your tax rates if doing business in another state or county. And you can also select your fulfillment location. So if your company has multiple locations and you would like to designate which one will be fulfilling the project at this stage, you can do so here. Please keep in mind that fulfillment locations are also tied to your labor rates. So don't worry about your labor pricing being off. We'll automatically apply the correct labor rate based on the location fulfilling the job. And that's it. At this stage, we can create and start quoting. You can create a new if entering multiple opportunities back to back, or you can simply create to continue to enter in more opportunity details for CRM. So that's what we did. And now we have successfully created a new opportunity and we're ready to move it on to the next stage. I hope that this quick video helps you understand a bit more about what we track and why we track it. Stay tuned for the next video and happy quoting.